Hello and welcome to Kitty Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be the host for your episode. We are in Gnarmok. Under the roof where there is a thunderstorm, so our fur doesn't get wet. And what we wanted to do was to explore this place. First thing I'm going to do is see if but there is shame for me or not if I mixed up the names of the towns. Let me read the plague here. Plague, plaque. We indeed are in Gnarmok. So, we have... So I'm going to talk to some people. We have already learned that there is a breeding niche pair that needs to be dealt with. And I think this is something we are going to try right next. I'm Cariel. Never seen you before. First time in Gnormog, then. Let me give you a little advice. We aren't used to visitors here, and we don't like what we aren't used to, so... Don't be surprised if people don't like answering a lot of questions. But you seem okay, sort. So if you're looking for someone in particular, or looking for services, or looking for a specific place, go ahead and ask. So what kind of services are in a place like this? Oh, if you're Haslalu returner or kin, get your services at Arena Manor. If you're guild, then you want Wadarku, Balan or Hinald at the Druid Jigos Rest. You might get some services at Medin Rotherans Shack, and you might not. Well, then it's... we are neither, I guess he means Thieves Guild, nor Haslalu. So let's check out that Rudin something something Shack. There she is. Ma'am, I've heard there that you offer some services. I can tell. Oh, as I said. Uh, oh, okay. The owner of the house isn't home. Nadine? No. Oh. Well, Silvera, you know about something about services here? Well, I'm Silvuna Andraro, and this is Knar Mok. And you're... Nighty? Fine. Uh, that's all taken care of. Now, what to tell me what I want. But... Do you have something to sell? Uh, arrows, torches, and iron shields. Well, how about you buy these boots of blinding? Oh my god, she doesn't have any money. No, oh, never mind. Uh, how about you, uh, fair lady? Do you have something to sell? You have this book, The Li Lives of the Saints. I'm always interested in, in books. All that. Here, here, take this extra gold. This is so nice of you to offer me this book. She doesn't buy the boots. And yes, I do this because I want to have a book collection. I'm a wizard, you know. Mercantile. It's the art of buying low and selling high. The skill guarantees lower initial prices. And improves the chance of getting better deals. Speechcraft is the gov... Is Ah, it's admiring and that stuff. So let me get Mercantile up to a level okay. where it costs me 100. And let me get do the same with Speechcraft. Like having a minimum amount of knowledge in these skills. Thank you very much. Anas, you're in Narmok. Go ahead, you ask the questions and I'll do the answering. What about the breeding match? Uh, same stuff that we already heard. What do you have to sell? Ah, uh, thief skill stuff, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do, you, do you buy these? No. And I guess he also just offers a thief skill to training, short blade, light armor, security. Short blade is very expensive and we rarely use it, so I'm not going to do it. Okay, thank you very much for your services. I'm going to have lots of fun with that book. And yes, I know, I promised that reading session. Ah, oh, that's Nadine Rotharn. That's that's the one that owns the shack that we just been in. Okay. Very interesting. I guess this is the manner of the House Lalo people. Since I'm not going to be or not already not am Haslalu, I'm not going to do this. Anglalas doesn't have anything to say. 
Now let's head to the north and check out these breeding nets that are terrorizing the town. This little pueblo. I did say it's in the north, isn't it? Uh, journal. Tell me here, I need to get to the options and use B for breeding match. North of here, yeah. I think one of the biggest disadvantages in the controls of this game is that you don't have a unified button to close everything. So when I press escape, it does just close everything down. But instead, it um, goes, always goes to the main menu, which is really annoying. I want to have these mushrooms, thank you very much. And I want to try to kill you with my sword. Or sword. Yeah, it, it is a short sword, actually. And there we go. Also, we can just use our own restore health. No, I think we should not because Magicka doesn't restore easily. Well, health doesn't either, but our. Okay. See, as soon as we're in close combat, it's very easy to kill the enemies. Not sure about entering that water during a thunderstorm, but here we are. There's something in there. Something pushed us around. Interesting. Something in there push, pushes us around. That's kind of weird. It didn't attack us, but it pushed us around and we couldn't hit it. Well. Uh, let's put that weapon away again, and let's see if there's something where right. there's a Elonivi carcass of the saint. Carcass of the saint. There's no shrine in here. It's interesting. I don't want to fall down. I mean, being a kitty, I would let them all four, okay, but... Oh, this looks like... This looks like necromancers or the sort. Red candles. No, I don't want to. This kitty doesn't want to live in a wet and cold cave, honestly. These are ni nice, nice candles. Uh, let's see. Okay, there is someone in here. Spark ready and spark them to death. Okay. Okay, there's the sort of gun still in the water, and I can rest here. Also, resting box quick save, so. Okay. So, let me see where the corpse is. So, in the water. Uh, a dreamer. A dreamer? Okay. Doesn't make much, much sense. Large wrapped co corpus meat. Corpus. That is the disease which. Okay, so the, the, the story is there is this disease, this uh, blight and corpus diseases. And the corpus disease, I think, was the one that is not healable. Let me check because I got a healing thing for the other one. I think it was a heal blight disease. Yeah. And the corpus disease cannot be healed. Like, at all. And if you catch it, nobody will talk to you. So it's... It's a little bit... It's a bit like COVID, but it's... Can't be healed. Or basically more like AIDS, actually. You can catch it just by... Yeah, fighting against them. Not the dreamers. I think it's... it's um, 
like uh, animals that have corpus disease, which we will we will see more about that later in, in, in the game, in the main story. And everyone's afraid of that, but I don't know, this this guy's called a dreamer, he's naked and he has corpus flesh. Rolled up. And this is a dead adventurer, okay, this is two-handed long blade. Okay. I'm not using any armor, although I, should, I might want to train in light armor because I can put on glass armor, which is pretty awesome. It's the best light armor. And I think walking around in a little bit of glass armor would be awesome, even with, with magic. But let me first check out... Oops. So we have... Light armor at 22, and unarmored should be way higher. Yeah, it's here 38. Well, it's not that. It's 38. Yes, it is pretty high, but it's not that much. Given that 100 is the highest value, so I could switch now to. Oh wait, that's iron. And also, I don't want to put on stuff that I'm... I don't want to put on stuff that I, that are visible through my robes. I, I still want to look the wizard. So this is okay, having it like having on my hand covered, even though you can't see my nice um, sharp claws now. Of course, they still work. So for for the game, I still have the claws as a weapon. Let's see what else we have. So this is what you get for being curious. Find dreamers. Walking too much. Okay. I don't have a thirteen magicka. I don't have enough for a single spark. But the fire ball will work. Well, it's very nice to be out. This is an Ash Slave. That's kinda weird. Okay. Uh, I can only rest on solid ground. Good. Out of the water on this rock here. And rest. And we have been... We have ascended to level 6. You sense yourself more aware, more open to new ideas. You've learned a lot about Morrowind. It's hard to believe how ignorant you were, but now you have so much more to learn. Well, since willpower is our ability to resist magic and the maximum fatigue, and we're always out of fatigue, I'm going to take this. I think speed is okay still. Personality too, so I would go for intelligence and strength because it is. Is there something about a health gain per level? Some more was. Yeah, that was the health gain per level. Also maximum fatigue, starting health, and health gain per level. And I'm going to go in with this because I want to be a bit more healthy. Resurrected. 
pile of ash to be their slave. Okay, so this is another place. Marowak's spine. There's more of them here. Actually, it's a little bit scary. Scabs. This reeks of necromancy. Or at least Daedra worship. There's no effect. I forgot to switch the magic. This is a Daedra. Okay. I'm going to put you on the list. Elunibi North of Molagmar. Hey, is it Molagmar? Is it really Molagmar if I'm thinking? Molag Mar Margan, it's always Gnarmok. And it is a place that actually. Karthak Point. Let me add this. Because it's easier to find, it's on the map. I think this might actually be a place that I'm going to be sent at some quest because it is marked on my map now that I've been to it. And so I don't want to ruin the anticipation then. And we can still do it later when we complete the main quest. We can either decide to like stop playing or like tie up all loose ends and visit all the places that we have written down in our little to do list. Backlog of sorts. Second. What's this? I can't seem to go. just blind. It's just something like this and then jumping some somewhere to here and then healing of course and you can already hear the weather outside is very rainy which it is not and that's an effect from the from how the engine works oh, but it's still thundering because the engine only calculates the weather for the outside cell once you actually enter the outside cell. Well, it, it wasn't that far off, it's just starting to rain, I think. I think this could be the bull match that they were talking about. Anticipated this mud crab attacking me. And I think that's a betting edge. This is not north, although it is also where that woman is. Who we learned is a wanted criminal. Maybe I can accept a quest for the bounty at the house of Lalu thing. Even though I'm not a member. But maybe I will actually get a little reward for it. Or I can talk to you. You're a guard. So, what about the trader? She's got a bounty on her head. What about that bounty? Okay, so now I, have, now I actually have the mission to kill her. And I'm going to make these raspy voices that the guards have. Because I don't want to hurt my throat. At least not today. I actually got my flu shot yesterday, which of course doesn't have anything to do with what I just said. 
but I do have this weird tonsil thing, so the flu shot is um, is dead virus, so it can't do anything to you, but your immune system will react to it anyway. It will just react to the virus itself, even though it's dead. So let me save, and then confront her with the bounty. Hey, I've heard there is a bounty on your head. Bounty on my head? Preposterous! Must be a case of mistaken identity. I can't imagine why anyone would want to arrest me. I've always been an honest trader. Well, there is a bounty on your head, and when there is a bounty on your head, I'm legally allowed to kill you, you know? How do I know you're not up to something devious? I'll make this trip. This is why ne nobody ever collected that bounty. She's very strong. She got this steel viper axe with poison 3 to 7 points. Well, it'll make a good sell. This expensive belt, which we totally will wear. Let's check how it looks. Mm. Of course, can't see it through the... Yeah, basically we don't we don't see it. Expensive pants and an expensive shirt. Yeah, that one looks looks way better on us. There you now you now you're laying in front of the city naked for all to see. So everyone knows what happens if you get a bounty on your head. Let us real quick see if we can also spark three if we can also deal with the match. Is this too far? It actually is not, and we one hitted the match. I killed a breeding match. Yes I did, indeed. I hope I killed another breeding match. Can't loot it because it fell into the mountain things. This is also a th typical thing for this game. Okay. The bull niche has some leather for us. And let's head back and tell everyone of our deeds. After all, the house should like us a bit more now, and the people should also. Greetings, it is I, Nighty, the mighty wizard. Nadine, don't go away. You again? Oh, come on. After all, I dealt with Pemeni. Oh, I heard she met an untimely end while on one of her trade excursions. Ah, <laughs> some trader. All she ever sold was low, qu low quality and poorly enchanted, and only a real scuttlehead would deal with that chief. And deal with that thief. Well, how about the breeding Netch then? You're the one who killed them? Ah, Netch are valuable, but they're too dangerous to let them roam free. Thank you. See, I told you, I have good news. I really don't hey, have time little one. I killed those breeding Netch, you know. Oh, really? You did? That's cool. Yeah, my my um, he liked me more when I when I told him. Hey, Mr. Guard, sir. Uh, yeah, you know, I've, I've got this, uh, about that bounty. I'm not getting anything. So who am I? Do I know you? Who am I going to for the bounty? Let us look inside the manor for someone who has... They all have the same things to say. Let's... Not good. 
do you have training not for me I, nope they have training for me but nothing I'm interested in okay so that was rather unspectacular or oh. Except for that spooky cave that we had. Well, now we need to get back. Let's see. To Albrun, I guess. Or to Caldera. I don't know. To some place we can get back to. room. Yeah, let's get that way. So that was Knarmok. Not very big, but it seems like a pretty nice place to live. Although I guess a pretty hard place to live because there is no, not much comfort. But it seems pretty serene. Okay, uh, let's head over and this. This guy failed casting the spell twice. Let's draw the sword and hit him with it. Luckily, he doesn't do that much damage, so we are pretty safe. There's still enemies nearby. Annoying. Let's head on a little bit and see get attacked or if we can rest. And our athletic skill increased. We can heal. Okay. This is where we left the road. This is to Caldera. This is to Albrun. And we're going to follow the road to Albrun to see the other person, right? Real quick. Do this. There we go. And I think this already is the other person. It is Russia. Yep, it is. Russia Quest, it says here. So let me save real quick. What do you want? You have pressing business, don't you? Yes, most pressing. I have, you see, a shipment of clothing. Fine clothing. It is to get to Aldrun, but I fear other business draws me away. Perhaps, I think, you and I may have come to an arrangement, yes? If you will deliver Russia's shirts, these fine, fine shirts, to Bivalte Tenerin, the clothier in Aldrun, 
she will pay you for your services. And a generous woman she is. I would ask that you swear an oath to Zenithar to seal our arrangement, though. What do you think of my offer, hmm? You should know that Zenithar is one of the... Um, one of the Daedric lords. So I'm going to swear to the Daedric lord of Zenithar that I will deliver your shipment. Most excellent, yes. We both came from this. I shall keep my good name, and you shall benefit from Tenoran's generosity. Wonderful. Take care, Nighty. One should not take an oath sworn to Zenithar lightly. No, never lightly. Oh. And he has actually given me the shirt that he wore. That's also a bit foreboding. Maybe I need to give up my expensive shirt, but... Let's just head to Aldrun because we are to deliver those expensive, expensive shirts. Here they are, exquisite shirt. To the Clothier in Aldrun. Which, of course, we will do. I think I'm starting to get a bit, a bit, bit um, arrogant. Getting more into the mage character thing. Although I'm now fighting with steel, which, well, I guess it's is it steel or is it iron? Iron, yeah. I should have silver instead, so I can fight ghosts. Just wanted to say, stay where you are, and in that moment, do it well. Bad luck. Another fight. I think it's this guy over there. Let's see if we can hit him. Nope. Now we fail to cast the spell. This is why I'm. I can only pull, pull off that spell twice. Um, this is why I'm trying to mostly use the uh, sword. And of course, the light armor skill is very low. attacks here. Set the game to the to automatic use uh, the best attack. Not even loot. Let us rest real quick. Well this does give us training. actually do need more training in the blade skill um, in case we can't cast any spells. The thing is that... no, actually I could use shields because when I take off the spell it won't remove the shield if I'm not mistaken. It will only remove the shield if I switch to a two-handed weapon. I should try that. Okay. Our gun is not where we want to go. We want to go to Aldrun. Just straight ahead. There, we already see it. city and then we can drop off the the exquisite clothing just so you know for the for the quest with that woman that we need to escort turned out to be a um, how do you say in English betrüger um, to rip off people with shoddy deals um, I knew that she was blind from the shoes. So this is why I started saying things like, hey, can't you open your eyes and stuff like that. So 
so here we are, Aldrun. Let us real quick check the map. The clavier should be somewhere around here. Bookseller, pawnbroker, smith, clothier. I think this is the wrong clothier. Bivale Ter Teneran. Could be. Uh, I think it should be close here. As I said, cl closing things. This, this, the journal closes with the open journal button or the close c button, but not with escape and not with the inventory button. I think the game should just have a generic close button for everything. But I already said that. So. Let's see. Again. Bivale Teneran. Bivale Teneran. I don't know how to pronounce that name in English. But I know that there is a clothier shop here. And let's see if that's... I think that was a different name. Yeah, Bivina Rela. Let's see inside. There were some traders inside too. Manor district. There is another clothier. There is Bival Teneran. There we go. Hey, I have got a shipment of Make exquisite clothes for you. From Russia. Ah, you brought the shirts from Russia. Wonderful. He does such fine work and he sells them for me, to me for very reasonable prices. He's a careful sort. But that's just smart business if you ask me. Thank you for your help and here's your payment. So we got a belt of iron will. Uh, let's see that belt. Fortify willpower when used. Hmm. I would much rather have that as a permanent effect. Since you're selling clothing, do you have enough gold to buy these shoes? We don't want these shoes. How about getting buying these from me? I'm not going to sell my robes, honestly. Look, I'm even throwing you a bargain. Thank you very much. Let me put back all my robes. I am a magician, but... Uh, that was nice. It's always nice to make business. Okay, and with that, I'm going to stop this recording on YouTube. So if you were watching this on YouTube, I say bye-bye and we will see each other roughly in a week. How long you need to wait specifically, you will see by me rolling the dice. Bye-bye.